A 15-year-old boy has been killed by a stray bullet in a Johannesburg township. More than 70 people have been killed in the unrest, the worst in South Africa for years, and hundreds of businesses wrecked. Food and fuel supplies are running short. A crowd gathered around the body of teenager Visu Lamini in Belarus to the south of Johannesburg. Among his relatives at the scene were his grandmother and his sister, according to the Reuters photographer. Business minister Komduzo Mwasheni appealed to South Africans for calm, asking them to resist the urge to stock up on supplies to avoid spreading COVID-19. Meanwhile, the King of South Africa's Zulu community, the country's largest ethnic group, has called for an end to unrest after six days of looting left scores dead and battered the economy. We urge members of the public to remain calm and exercise restraint during these trying times. Government is working with the National Consumer Goods Council to ensure food security. If we have members of the public flocking into the shops and malls to buy food stuff, we are also risking the spread of COVID-19 and it will go to uncontrollable, uncontrollable levels with the Delta variant that is currently prevalent in our country. Another area of concern that has been brought into the attention of government is members of the community taking up arms to try and protect their, com uh, their properties. We understand the concern for community for their safety and the their need to protect their properties. We would like to urge these communities to work with the law enforcement agencies to stop the looting and violence and to operate within the rule of law. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.